Hater, Wikipedia Audio Hater is a 2014 Indian crime tragedy film written, produced, and directed by Vishal Bardwa, and co written by Bash Arat Peer. It stars Shahid Kapoor as the titular protagonist, and CO stars Tabu, Shraddha Kapoor, and K.K. Maynon. Irfan Khan appears in an extended special appearance. The film is both a modern-day adaptation of William Shakespeare's tragedy Hamlet and an adaptation of Basharat Peer's memoir Curfewed Night, set amidst the insurgency-hit Kashmir conflicts of 1995 and civilian disappearances. Hater a young student and a poet, returns to Kashmir at the peak of the conflict to seek answers about his father's disappearance and ends up being tugged into the politics of the state. Hater is the third installment of Bardwa's Shakespearean trilogy after Makbul and Amkara. The film was screened at the 19th Busan International Film Festival and released worldwide on October 2, 2014 to wide critical acclaim, and garnered attention from the media due to its controversial subject matter. The direction, performances of K.K. Maynon, Tabu, and Shahid Kapoor, screenplay, film score and editing received praise and garnered several accolades. Hater was the first Indian film to win the People's Choice Award at the Rome Film Festival. Among several awards and nominations in India, the film won five National Film Awards, Best Male Playback Singer, Best Dialogue, Best Choreography, Best Costume Design, and Best Music Direction. Plot In 1995, during the insurgency in Kashmir, Hilal Mir, a doctor based in Srinagar, agrees to perform an appendectomy on Iklaik, the leader of a pro-separatist militant group. To avoid detection, he performs the surgery at his house, much to the chagrin of his wife Ghazala, who questions his allegiance. The following day, during a military raid, Hilal is accused of harboring terrorists. A shootout ensues at his home, during which a clake is killed and Hilal is taken away for questioning. The doctor's house is bombed subsequently to kill any other militant hiding inside. Several days later, Hilal and Ghazala's son, Hader, returns from Aligarh Muslim University to seek answers about his father's disappearance. Upon arrival, he is shocked to find his mother singing and laughing along with her brother-in-law, Kurum. Unable to understand his mother's behavior, he begins searching for his father in various police stations and detention camps with the help of his childhood sweetheart Arshi Alon, a journalist. Saddened by the growing closeness between Ghazala and Kurum, and unable to find any leads, Hader begins to lose hope. However, Arshia encounters a stranger, Rudar, who asks her to inform Hader that he will be able to provide information about Hilal. Hader contacts Rudar, who turns out to be part of a separatist group. Rudar then narrates the story of how he met Hilal in one of the detention centers, where they both were tortured. Hilal attributes his imprisonment to his brother, Kurum. Rudar then tells the story of how Hader's father was brutally murdered by Kurum's made-up terrorist group and how Rudar survived after being shot and thrown into the river with Hader's father, which stopped his bleeding and allowed him to escape, though Hilal died. Rudar then tells Hader that he simply wanted to pass on his father's message to him revenge for Kurum's betrayal. Thereafter, angry and swearing to avenge the injustice done to his father, Hader breaks down at Hilal's gravesite and becomes mentally and emotionally shattered. He starts suffering from the effects of a post-traumatic stress disorder, shaving his head and behaving strangely. Kurum, 
after learning of the meeting between Hader and Rudar, tells him that Rudar was the one who killed his father. Hader is now confused as to whom to believe despite knowing the truth himself, and discloses his dilemma to Arshia, adding that Rudar gave him a gun to kill his uncle. Arshia confides this to her father Pervez, who informs Kurum about the gun. Kurum, at a ceremony related to his marriage with Ghazala, which has now been solemnized, immediately orders his men to corner Hader and send him to a mental institution. The following morning, Hader is all set to kill his uncle but cannot accomplish it because his uncle is offering prayers and his morals prevent it. Hader is captured by Purvis who orders him to be executed, but Hader manages to escape, although not before mercilessly killing his captors, the Salmans. He contacts Rudar, who suggests getting trained in Pakistan to avenge his father's death, and Hader agrees. He calls his mother and informs her about it to which she asks him to meet her once before going to the other side of border. During the meeting, Ghazala discloses that she had told Kurum about the terrorists hiding in their house not knowing that he was an informer of the Indian army. Pervez traces them and is about to shoot Hader when Hader shoots him dead and escapes. Tormented by her father's death at the hands of Hader, Arshia is emotionally traumatized and commits suicide. Meanwhile, Ghazala finds Rudar's contact number from Arshia's diary and calls him. Hader goes to his pickup point, the graveyard where his father was buried. At the graveyard, Hader contemplates about the universal nature of mortality. On seeing Arshia's brother Lyakat in the graveyard, he realizes that the corpse is of Arshia. He runs towards her body where Lyakat sees him and informs Kurum. A fight ensues between Hader and Lyakat, resulting in the latter's death. Kurum arrives with full force and a gunfight ensues. Meanwhile Rudar drops Ghazala at the graveyard. A fierce exchange of bullets and bombs leaves only Hader and few men on Kurum's side alive. Just when Kurum is about to kill Hader, Ghazala pleads for a chance to convince Hader to surrender. She confronts her son who says that he cannot die before avenging his father's death. Ghazala tells him that revenge only results in revenge and there is no end to this cycle, but Hader, who is bent on revenge, does not understand. Ghazala kisses Hader goodbye and steps outside, only to reveal that she is wearing a suicide vest. Kurm and Hader rush towards her but she pulls the pins of the hand grenade resulting in a big explosion killing herself along with the rest of Kurm's men and gravely injuring Kurm himself, while Hader is only slightly thrown back from the force of the explosion. Hader goes to his mother's remains, weeps by her side and goes to kill Kurm, whose legs have been severed from his body. He is reminded of his mother's words that revenge only results in revenge and thus decides to let Kurm live. Kurm begs Hader to kill him to free him from the burden of guilt and to avenge his father's death, but Hader doesn't oblige Kurm, instead ignores him and leaves just as Kurm dies. Initially, Vishal Bardwa and Shahid Kapoor were in talks of making a sequel to their blockbuster film, Kamini. The project was put on hold and a new project with Kapoor in the lead was confirmed, titled as Hader which was reportedly based on an adaptation of William Shakespeare's Hamlet. The adaptation was made to portray the political intrigue and history of Kashmir as well as the play's sexual conflicts. Bardwa was initially developing the play as a contemporary espionage thriller with author Stephen Alter. They wrote a 30-page synopsis that was sent to Gulzer. Though Gulzer liked the synopsis but inquired Bardwa of the missing tragedy of Hamlet in the pen thriller. 
The synopsis had incomplete details about the life, authenticity, and official secrets act of raw agents. On his return to India, Bharadwaj's wife Ray Kar Bardwa was reading Bashar at Pierre's memoir, Curfewed Night, a book based on life in violence-racked Kashmir. His wife was deeply moved after reading the book. Bharadwaj didn't immediately read the book but was aware about its content. Later, Bardwa desired to change the synopsis. Remembering Bashar's book, he contacted him and they started the work. Bardwa quoted importance of Basharat in the film as, if Basharat was not a part of the film, Hater wouldn't be made or it wouldn't be made this way. The film is Pierre's first film project. On CO scripting the same, he stated that writing Curfewed Night was a response to caricatures of Kashmiris in Indian political writing whereas he wrote Hater in the same spirit, with the same feeling with Bardwa. Bardwa and he agonized a lot over the soliloquies required. There were sections of the to be, or not to be speech that was translated directly in Hindi. Due to constraints of time they had to omit the apparel make the man soliloquy though. They retained and translated the section where Hamlet meets Rosencrantz and Guildenstern and speaks about Denmark being in prison. Further, new soliloquies were created to convey Hamlet's madness and the veiled political satire in it. This was brought in when Hayter with his head shaved, dressed in torn, shabby clothes rants on a traffic roundabout in Srinagar and apart from a few senseless jokes, reads out the Bear Act of the Armed Forces Special Powers Act. Apart from this, Peer explained that an adaptation doesn't exactly follow the original, like the part of Ford and Bras was barely there in Hayter. The world of King Claudius and Polonius is portrayed as the counter-insurgency and government-run, counter-insurgent militias in Hayter and thematically dominates the action. As per the story of the book Hamlet, an Oedipus complex exists that draws Hamlet towards his mother Gertrude that could have been interpreted both at a physical and psychological level, however. Bardwa kept this reference subtle as the target audience was predominantly Indian and called it one of the aspects in this mother-son relationship. In his previous outing of Othello's adaptation, Amkara, he removed the last monologue due to the fact that it was more suited for a stage play sequence but retained that type of monologue for Hayter. Shahid Kapoor learned a six-page monologue for the climatic scene where his character Hader turns mad. He put forth the delivery of that monologue in front of a crowd of 5,000 listening. For filming the scene, which was done in three. Four hours, Shahid Kapoor was made completely bald. Summit Call, who played the character of one of the Salmans was involved in training the Kashmiri accent of actress Tabu apart from lead actors Shahid and Shraddha. His portions of filming were canned in 15 days, however, he was with the team for two and a half months in Kashmir. He taught the nuances of the language especially when it translates into English or Hindi. Call also helped actress Tabu get the enunciation when she sang the folk song Rashi Valle that was a part of the film score. Cast Gazala is torn between her idealistic husband, opportunistic brother-in-law, and her innocent and passionate son. Somewhere she feels she has the responsibility to keep everything in control but obviously she can't. Her love for her son is crazy. She is always trying to protect him from being misled and misguided. He cast me as Shahid's mother because he wanted the oddity of the relationship to come out which wouldn't have come across with a regular aged mother and son combination. Hater shares a love-slash-hate relationship with Ghazala but it's a very passionate emotion. You almost feel odd that these two are mom and son. Hater's predicament is that he doesn't know what to do with his mother. 
whether to love her, hate her, believe her, or kill her. Kapoor, along with Bardwa and UTV Motion Pictures, each have a 33.3% share in the film. The budget for the film is 390 million taking into account 240 million spent into the production of the film and 150 million for promotions. Dolly Aluwalia has designed costumes for the film. She began working by creating Kashmiri designs of costumes in Delhi. When Vishal Bardwa and his film cinematographer were doing a recce in the Valley of Kashmir, she was there to share her creative vision with him. She took her sketches and swatches there. After that, she returned to Delhi and continued with her work there. Instead of picking up costumes easily available in bazaars of Kashmir, she designed the firens for Shahid Kapoor, hijabs, and headscarves for both Shraddha Kapoor and Tabu. Alu Walia was quoted saying, Somewhere along the way her husband disappears and she marries his brother who is wealthier than him and this change in marital status is explained through richer colors and fabrics. She added that her real challenge was exploring the psyche of the character Hater through colors, textures, and cuts. The signs of madness in his character are depicted through the pom-poms in his cap during the track Basmil that is a manifestation of the traditional folk dance Dumhul of the Kashmiri Valley performed by Wattle tribes. For the costumes seen in climax portions, she was quoted saying, Against that white snow backdrop I stuck to black and reds to bring out the cold of the human mind through the cold snow and the death of romance in blood red hues. Hater was shot in two parts. The first schedule was in November, December 2013 and then next in January, February 2014. Keeping the weather conditions in consideration, the first part of the film is shot in autumn-winter and the second part featuring intense drama and action sequences under snow. The entire filming was completed in 54 days. Principal photography began at Dal Lake in November 2013. Hader was filmed at Pahalgam, Karabal area in Anant Nag, Madan, Ishan Sahab Zaina Cattle Bridge in Old Srinagar. Nishad Baha, Dal Lake, Kazi Gund, Martan Sun Temple, Nasim Baha, Hazrat Bal, and Sanamarg, all of which are located in Jammu and Kashmir. Bardwa was forced to pack up after a group of Kashmir University students disrupted shooting of a sequence of a Fadayeen attack which was being canned at the University of Kashmir at Hazrat Bal. The students objected to the hoisting of the national flag atop a makeshift bunker. A few students objected to the shooting of a few scenes and started pro-freedom slogans, dismantling the stage. The youngsters also forced them out of the shooting location in Nasim Bah despite heavy security, claiming that they had no idea about the shoot happening on that location. Students of university raised also objection to Irfan Khan when he was spotted smoking inside the campus. The last schedule of filming for Hader began in Kashmir in January 2014. For the song Basmil that was shot at Martan Sun Temple in Kashmir, Shahid Kapoor was quoted saying, It is one of the best shot songs of my career. The location, the elements like face paint to depict war situations, have been used in Basmil. Then there are 100 feet tall puppets, which I have never seen in any song before. For the choreography Bardwa was very keen that Shahid's character didn't have any dance movements that Shahid did in his previous films as it was required for the character's angst and feelings. Bardwa recruited a Norway-based choreographer for the choreography of this track. The shooting of the film was also halted briefly for a second time in Zynakadal and Srinagar in January 2014, 
when a spectator threw coal towards the actors. Filming was completed by February 24, 2014. After 41 cuts, the Central Board of Film Certification gave the film U/A certificate. The scenes that were censored were a truckload of corpses, wire being inserted inside a naked man, a shot of a bloody dead body, abusive words. Apart from this, a shot of a bare back during the song Cool Cap Haito was also considered offensive and censored. The Central Board of Film Certification demanded deletion of a scene where Hater cries on seeing flames. A confusion arose when Kumar along with an examining committee saw the film and prescribed the cuts. After the film was re-edited, instead of sending it to the revising committee for reviewing, Kumar himself watched the film again and gave it a U/A certificate. Nandini Sardesai, a member of the revising committee told The Times of India that Kumar saw Hader twice and passed it with a U/A certificate. She stated that director of the film Vishal Bardwa had apparently agreed to the cuts. Later, Bardwa clarified that the CBFC only demanded seven cuts but gave his film 35 extra cuts in order to make the script look more realistic. Bardwa added that since the film is set in Kashmir and given the associated troubled politics of the state, he knew the film would land in controversies. The controversy over film's plot, analysts stated that India has become more open to sensitive subjects. Dr. Zakir Hussain, a senior analyst at the Indian Council of World Affairs was quoted saying, as democratic traditions strengthen in the country, more and more such movies will be made and people will be educated. Hater is the first step in that direction. Director Bardwa faced criticism over the depiction of the armed forces in an allegedly unfair way as the film also portrayed scenes of torture in Indian army camps and abuse of human rights by Indian officials. To this portrayal, Indian Twitter users, filled with sentiments brought up hashtagging of words number boycott hater that generated estimate 75,000 tweets since the film release. In reply to this criticism, people on Twitter started trending number hater true cinema which trended for two days and this caused number boycott hater to be withdrawn from the list of trending topics on Twitter. Production Development The original songs and film score are composed by Vishal Bardwa. The soundtrack has nine songs whose lyrics are penned by Gulzer except for two songs Gulen Main Rang Bar and AAJK Nam that were written by Fuiz Ahmed Fuiz. Shahid Kapoor and Shraddha Kapoor launched the music of the film along with Vishal Bardwa at Radio Mirchi Studios in Mumbai by mid-August 2014. The soundtrack had a digital as well as physical release on September 15, 2014. The film score was digitally released on October 2, 2014. Filming Censoring Music Critical Reception India The film received critical acclaim worldwide. Review aggregator Rotten Tomatoes reports that 100% of six professional critics have given the film a positive review, with a rating average of 6.7 out of 10. On Metacritic, the film has an 83 user score based on 15 ratings. Writing for the Hindu, Suttish Kamath Felt, lyricist Gulzer, writer-director Vishal Bardwa, and writer Bash Arat Peer have given us an instant classic, a literary epic with a lesson to learn from recent history. Hater is an incredibly brave uncompromising film made with loads of conviction with blatant disregard to market conventions, one that will make you cheer during the meta moment in the film. Rajiv Masand of CNNIBN called that film an elegant, 
thrilling one that casts a brave, unflinching eye on the Kashmir struggle. He noted, in deviating from the original ending of Hamlet, it also makes a necessary point about the cyclical nature of revenge and violence. He gave the movie four fifths stars, writing for Deccan Chronicle, Kusumita Das, who compared the film to the book, summarized, considering Hamlet, with all its complexity, is certainly not an easy adaptation to venture into. That alone could well make this Vishal's finest film yet. Mohar Basu of Koimwa detailed out performances, direction, script, editing and screenplay gave the verdict, Hater is an unforgettable film that never fumbles, never stumbles, and is so sure of itself that it cannot go wrong. From Shahid to Tabu to KK to the powerful cameo of Irfan, everything in the film works. It's a gustic film that audaciously breaks every rule in the book, everything that you could have expected from it and ends up being that edgy watch which you'll savor, while you watch it from the edge of seats. Hater is chutzpah and in keeping with the same vein, I will rate this film the highest I have ever gone with a movie. This is an easy 4.5 slash 5. Critic Subash K. Ja with immense praise felt, Hater is a beast that just won't be tamed by regular cinematic definitions. There is flamboyance and subtlety, both at once in the treatment. Elegance and earthiness rub shoulders in the execution of what is regarded as one of Shakespeare's most complex tragedies. Above all, there are the performances. Towering, luminous actors craning their collective creative necks into the director's vision to give it mesmerizing magical spin. Mr. Bardwa's third Shakespearean sojourn is his best yet. Hater is like a painting viewed from the road inside an art gallery. The vision is distant yet vivid, layered lifelike, and yet exquisitely poetic. Critic Raja Sen of Redif gave the film a maximum of five stars and wrote, Hater is one of the most powerful political films we've ever made, a bona fide masterpiece that throbs with intensity and purpose. Writing for Midday, Shubhashetti Saha said Vishal Bharadwaj brings alive the ecstasy, pain, and passion of Hamlet on screen, he also reminds us of the harsh truth in our own backyard, the man-made mayhem in the god-made Janat that is Kashmir. Fahim Rouhani for India Today praised the even the Oedipal theme between characters played by Shahid Kapoor and Tabu, summarizing his review as, Hater may seem a bit sluggish in the first half and slightly long. However, it makes up for most of it in the dramatic, intense climax that you are treated to towards the end. Hater is definitely a film you should not miss. Z News's critic Ritika Handu reviewed positively, William Shakespeare's Hamlet is a masterpiece in literature, and Vishal Bardwa's Hater will be talked about in the same vein as one such artistic product in cinematic history. Hater will be recognized as Shahid's career best performance. Srijana Mitra Das of the Times of India called the film one of cinema's bravest takes on identity, frightening, yet fun and particularly praised Taboo's performance whom she considered the prime asset of the film. Swita Koshal for Hindustan Times noted, Vishal Bardwa's hater is a rare Bollywood gem you must watch. Writing for Filmfare magazine, Rakit Gupta felt, hater doesn't have an ounce of the commercial thrills and spills that entertain the 100 crore masses but it does have an undeniable dramatic punch. It is one of the best stories you'll ever watch on celluloid. Give this edgy film a chance to entertain you. Because it will do so with aplomb. It's certainly better than the other chutzpah out there. On the contrary, critic Shubhra Gupta at the Indian Express felt the storytelling falters, quoting that, it is a gorgeous but choppy film that you cannot take your eyes off for fear of losing another exquisite piece of detailing, 
it is also one that fails to fully keep you with it. AAJ Tak has published a review of the movie by an Indian Army officer that analyzes the movie from a soldier's standpoint. He claims this movie has anti-India pro-separatist tone which portrays Indian Army in bad light. Overseas Mike McKill of The Guardian wrote, Radical Indian version of Hamlet gives the story compelling political angles and musical surprises. A palpable hit, in any language. Rachel Saltz of the New York Times titled her critical review as, Shakespearean Revenge in a Violent Kashmir emphasizing more on script and directorial aspects, noting, Hater may not be the equal of Mr. Bardwa's other Shakespeare films, and it may be deficient in the Hamlet department, but it certainly gives good Gertrude. At The Hollywood Reporter, Lisa Tsetering was more positive on the film, summarizing, with Hater, Bardwa wisely forgoes the rough-edged attitude in his other films to embrace a slicker and more sophisticated style, and some of the film's most effective moments are masterful in their visual storytelling skill. Writing for Digital Spy, Priya Joshi praised the movie, calling it a master class in filmmaking and performance and an exemplary cinema and a work of great artistic merit. She added, Shahid Kapoor is a standard bearer for a generation. Supratik Chaturji of the First Post praised performances of Shahid Kapoor and Tabu thereby calling Vishal Bharadwaj's film best movie so far. Praising the key aspects of the movie, Critic Manjusha Radhakrishnan for Gulf News writes, Everything about Hater is subtle, including the undertones of the infamous sexual tension between mother and son. Tabu and Kapoor surrender themselves completely to their roles and are endearingly uninhibited. The pace is never hurried, so be a bit patient and give these superbly talented actors a chance. Just like the cinematography that captures Kashmir's rugged beauty, Hater will wow you with its raw appeal. On writing for Emirates 24 sevenths, Snaha May Francis opined, Hater does appear a little overindulgent, but considering Vishal had such a Herculean task at hand, it's just a small price to pay for good cinema. Shakespearean tragedy Hamlet gets a sinfully delightful adaptation by master filmmaker Vishal Bardwa. Ryan Gilby based at New Statesman claimed, the idea of a Bollywood Hamlet throws up all manner of preconceptions. But Hater transpires to be a far less irreverent interpretation than, say, the 2000 US version in which Ethan Hawke delivered the to be or not to be soliloquy from the action section of blockbuster video. Bardwa relocates the action to Kashmir in the mid 1990s. If the graph doesn't quite take, it's because the film is so persuasive in portraying the oppression of the Kashmiri people that the woes of Hamlet seem small beer. Hater collected 583 million from domestic screens after its third week in theaters. The film was released in nearly 1,250 screens all over India where it collected 61.4 million on its release date. The collections showed 14% rise pulling up collections to 69.3 million on first Friday and made a cumulative business of 131 million in two days of its release at the Indian box office. It collected 63.8 million on first Saturday of release. In the opening three days, the film earned 194 million. Taking into account the first weekend post its release, the film earned 375,000 US dollar in the US. The previews on Thursday, a day prior to release date were 41,000 US dollars. 
Collections on subsequent two days were 138,000 US dollars on Friday and 200,000 US dollars on Saturday. In AGC areas, the film collected 320,000 US dollars during first three days of release. The collections in UK for the same days were 94,000 US dollars. The film churned a cumulative $1 million in the three days, overseas. Box Office India 2 Overseas 2 Awards and Nominations <laughs>